Hello, welcome to Distinguished Wisdom Presents, Living Proverbs. I'm Pastor Terrence Levise Turner. Today's Living Proverb is titled, Let the Lord Avenge You. Regarding God avenging you of your adversaries, let the Lord work, and you just be quiet and watch. Psalm 118, verses 6 through 7. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? The Lord taketh my part with them that help me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. Psalm 119, verses 126. It is time for thee, Lord, to work, for they have made void thy law. Romans 12, 19. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Psalm 105, verses 14 through 15. He suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sakes, saying, Touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Nahum 1, verses 7 through 8. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. But with an overrunning flood, he will make an utter end of the place thereof, and darkness shall pursue his enemies. What do you imagine against the Lord? He will make an utter end. Affliction shall not rise up the second time. Luke 21, 19. In your patience possess ye your souls. Matthew 27, 11 through 14. And Jesus stood before the governor. And the governor asked him, saying, Art thou the king of the Jews? And Jesus said unto him, Thou sayest. And when he was accused of the chief priests and elders, he answered nothing. Then said Pilate unto him, Hearest thou not how many things they witness against thee? And he answered him never a word, insomuch that the governor marveled greatly. Philippians 1.28 and in nothing terrified by your adversaries, which is to them an evident token of perdition, but to you of salvation and that of God. Acts twenty twenty four. But none of these things move me, neither count I my life dear unto myself, so that I might finish my course with joy, and the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify the gospel of the grace of God. Luke 18, 1-8 And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint, saying, There was in a city a judge, which feared not God, neither regarded man. And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of mine adversary, and he would not for a while. But afterward he said within himself, Though I fear not God, nor regard man, yet because this widow troubleth me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge saith, and shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? 2 Corinthians 10, 3-5 For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God, to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Ephesians 6, 10-18 Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, 
against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Daniel 10, 10-13 And behold, an hand touched me, which set me upon my knees, and upon the palms of my hands. And he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee, and stand upright, for unto thee am I now sent. And when he had spoken this word unto me, I stood trembling. Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand, and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard, and I am come for thy words. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. But lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. 2 Kings 19.35 And it came to pass that night that the angel of the Lord went out and smote in the camp of the Assyrians an hundred fourscore and five thousand. And when they arose early in the morning, behold, they were all dead corpses. Psalm 91, verses 7 through 13. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Regarding God avenging you of your adversaries, let the Lord work, and you just be quiet and watch. I'm Pastor Terrence Levise Turner. You've been listening to Distinguished Wisdom Presents Living Proverbs. For more wisdom and inspiration, please visit my website at terrenceturnerlivingproverbs.com. That's terrenceturnerlivingproverbs.com. Be sure to get your copy of my new book series, Distinguished Wisdom Presents Living Proverbs, Volume 1, Over 500 Wisdom Nuggets to Enrich Your Life, Distinguished Wisdom Presents, Volume 2, Over 500 Wisdom Nuggets to Enrich Your Life, and my latest book, Distinguished Wisdom Presents, Living Proverbs, Volume 3, Over 530 New Wisdom Insights for Contemporary Times. The book is available at my website, TerrenceTurnerLivingProverbs.com, as well as Amazon.com, or wherever Christian books are sold. Please join me again next time. Until then, my prayer for you is may your life be enriched by the words of wisdom.